Telecom 2 recently uh, celebrated its 10th anniversary and um, we are a technical telco, we're not just a reseller. Um, but uh, for those with long memories, they'll re remember Telecom 1 and Kulum and really this business was born out of those two companies and therefore there's a 20 year history of development, especially in the premium market. I've always seen uh, our role as a terminating network operator in premium rate really as a micropayment mechanism uh, which we enable our clients to creatively create the means of delivering the traffic and we give them a, a, a methodology of billing. So um, we are always looking for additional micropayment uh, and payment methodologies. So. Uh, we also have a small payments license with the FCA, so we offer a credit debit card uh, payments uh, and recently we've ha added carrier billing which has been uh, a good success and we're in the process of uh, extending that across a number of territories through a company called Secure Money Transfers. It's a separate entity to Telecom2 but uh, owned by the same management. About uh, five or six years ago, uh, Chris Ratcliffe, the MD of Television X, uh, came to us uh, looking, they have a, a video on demand site, and they were using uh, a methodology based on, uh, on uh, driving license, another photo ID, passport, etc. And this was getting them low match rates, so they wanted to find a lighter touch uh, methodology of age verification. So we, um, he knew that the mobile industry had bought in a AV for delivery of content onto the handset and was inquiring whether we could uh, devise, create something for uh, content delivered on another device and so we developed it for that. He added it into his mix of methods of age verification for the video on demand site and it became the most popular of the methods. So that got us into that arena and then subsequently at the last uh, general election it was in the Conservative Party manifesto that they were going to mandate uh, adults to AV themselves for online internet based uh, content. So we weren't aware of that when we developed this, but it sort of opened the market up for us. And so Verime is the brand, it's a registered trademark, and it's a fully functional uh, methodology of AV. Uh, it's robust and it's light touch. We're very proud of it. One other growth area is that um, it's partly driven by BT. BT have made an announcement that they're not going to support ISDN. Uh, so. Uh, going forward from 2022 I think so everything's going to have to go cloud and we have a digital PBX system in the cloud called Apex PBX and we it's feature rich we don't resell it it's us so we're the telco and we own the technology so we can adapt it quickly and that's proved very popular and we sell it from small offices you know five seat offices right up to contact centers 200, 400 uh, seats and uh, it's integrated with all the um, CRMs like Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, uh, we have a dialer, a blended dialer in there and the sales are uh, month on month are increasing greatly so that's a definite growth area for us. It's direct debit based rather than premium based um, so another uh, payment methodology. Uh, and we see a great future for it. Uh, we founded the company back in 2009. Uh, it's one of the largest privately held companies uh, with its headquarters based in uh, Canary Wharf in London. Uh, on the telecommunications side, uh, we have operations in the UK, Spain and Ireland. Uh, we've got over 65 people working across multiple uh, countries. Uh, we employ a lot of efforts to motivate and uh, teach our staff so as a result, we have uh, very low uh, staff turnover, uh, very qualified and highly motivated. Over half of the people working for us, uh, or with us in this case, uh, are, uh, or have a development uh, or support roles. So we're very 
technology based or, or the, uh, at the heart of our uh, of our team uh, is the technology that, that we develop ourselves. So, Telecom Two is an uh, uh, all-in-one business-to-business communications provider with an extensive portfolio of um, of products, all of which are developed in-house. Core to our ethos is an ongoing commitment to investment in the latest technologies. Our core ethos is an ongoing commitment to investment in the latest technologies to ensure that our products will meet customer needs now and in the future. Right. So in the UK, um, Telecom 2 is a network operator licensed and regulated by Ofcom and of course the PSA uh, in the UK. We're offering a range of geographical, free phone, low cost, premium, directory inquiries and SMS as part of our products. We complement the technology aspect with uh, ISP services and as such with a full member of RIPE in Europe uh, and numerous trade organizations including AIM. Our portfolio of products include PCI compliant credit card processing and we have a license to operate as a payment institution licensed by the FCA. We currently host over 12 million numbers proprietary and for a substantial number of virtual carriers. We currently handle in the UK over 10 million minutes of inbound per month and over 5 million of outbound. Through our SMS platforms and gateways, we have the capacity to send over 100 million national and international outbound SMSs per month. One of the main aspects that I'd like to state is that we have a fast and efficient stats package for our customers which provide near real-time stats. Virtual carriers are companies for whom we open the doors of becoming a telco with minimal impact in the UK. Our commercial and support teams handle all the registrations with Ofcom, acquisition and hosting of number ranges, propagations through the networks and of course the full payment. On top of that, we offer a full billing platform which can be branded as per the customer wishes. In essence, it's a pre-packed solution that is fast, cheap and efficient for those companies wishing to enter the UK carrier market. From a sales and commercial point of view, it's really refreshing to work for a company that's continually developing and future-proofing um, the products and services. One of the best parts about the job is simply delivering great news to customers that we've got new products, new features, and it makes the job a lot more easier and keeps the customers really happy in the long term. So we have a very low churn of customers. To help our customers grow our business, we're continually working on new products, new features, um, services. We're currently already starting a live test on RCS, Rich Communication Services, with a Premier League football club at the moment. Also integrating WhatsApp business messaging into that. In the next six to 12 months, we expect to see a large increase of these products and services in the corporate market space. The good news on that side as well is we're already PAS and PCI DSS certified which allows us to go into financial institutions, banks and already up to the security standards across all our products and services. We've also just launched our international premium rate number service. It's going great guns. Customers are really happy with the solutions that we've delivered to them. Over the last couple of years we've seen a significant increase in our paper minute live streaming revenues. It's ready to be white labelled, used across many business sectors including doctors, teachers etc. We're also rolling out carrier billing to our customers, including international carrier billing solutions also.